My name is Jack Stoddard. During our Memorial Day Music Festival, we videotape Americana Roots music. This music series is called Jammin' at Hippie Jack's. I don't need no whiskey. I don't need no rum. Funding for this project is made possible through a grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation to help maintain litter-free events, recycling, and litter prevention education. Together, we can make a difference. Sugarlands Distilling Company is a proud supporter of Jammin' at Hippie Jacks and American Roots Music. The Sugarlands Wilderness is our backyard and the inspiration behind a Smoky Mountain tradition that's been handed down for generations. Sugarlands Distilling Company, we've got a lot to share. Let's go! First time I ever visited the Tennessee State Museum to uh, look around and see if we were going to do this, check out the logistics. I set the alarm off three times and then I locked myself in the uh, stairway. <laughs> that was my first day. I tell you, let's get rolling so I can do my thank yous. You got me sauce. Mississippi. Looking on camera, Erica, Phil, all right. First off, what was that? I want to congratulate my son, Silas, and congratulate my new daughter-in-law, Erica. Is it two weeks ago? Three weeks ago. On the farm, we had a wedding. It was great. Phil was there. It was fun. Congratulations. They agreed to put off their honeymoon till after this recording. So <laughs> they're leaving for the Keys in what, five days, six days, something like that. Going to the Keys, all right. Not soon enough. <laughs> the Tennessee State Museum has been tremendous in allowing us to come down here and open up this building on Friday nights. It's not cheap, it's not an easy thing to do. They've shown a lot of faith in us. When we, uh, we talked about it, we were gonna do one show. Five years ago, we were gonna do one show. And we've done four shows a year. We've had some great, great shows down here. Last time I checked, the Ray Wiley show we put up in full concert footage had 74,000 hits on the full concert on YouTube. So uh, it's been no uh, shortage of people enjoying it. So. Once again, uh, this is the magnificent Tennessee State Museum in beautiful downtown Nashville, Tennessee. We are delighted to say that we have a fantastic lineup tonight. And uh, I'm going to get off here and welcome Beth Nielsen Chapman to the stage. This one's for you, Gleeky. Another Chapman. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Beth. Beth Nielsen. Thank you all.
My best friend in the world is Annie Roboff, and she and I wrote this song together. Same thing happened, actually. I hadn't thought about that. But we were trying to write some old lame songwriter office song <laughs> for somebody where we were thinking, real t really, what would they sing? What would they not sing? And it was just like, it was so bad. She goes, we have got to stop this now and start fresh tomorrow and not do this again. I said, yes. And she hit this chord before she got up from the piano, and I went, wait, what was that? And we got this. <laughs> and I hate to sound like I'm bragging, but Faith Hill did cut it. I mean, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Get out of that prison. 
stressed to be the best I've done it all I've slammed the doors, I've jammed the locks Laid the bricks, I've built the walls No one could tell me back then Why joy eluded me I kept falling into that misery Locked up deep down inside of me I love to tell my students is, you know, I've had some great success and, and I'm very, very thrilled about that. Um, one third of uh, one of the songs I wrote helped put my son through college. This is my son, Ernest, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> but the one, I, I probably, this song is probably my biggest hit in terms of what I feel has been an impact um, on human beings out there, even though it's never risen to the top of the charts on the radio. It's the one that I get 10 emails about at least every day. And a great story or something really amazing, some chance that somebody heard it just right when they needed to hear it. And it's a song I wrote about a month after my husband Ernest died of cancer in 1994. <clears throat> this Ernest was 12 years old at the time. That's how long ago that was. And um, <clears throat> it, it's a song that's gone on and just found whoever needed to hear it. It's just been the most magical song, I think for me to have ever been a part of. And I'd love to start it off with this incredible sound, which is the first wind instrument ever made, and um, it was made directly by God. <clears throat> and John is going to play this beautifully. <clears throat>
sudden cry All alone I had to find some meaning in the center of the pain I felt inside All alone I came into this world All alone I will someday die Solid stone is just this child flesh and bone he's just bursting towards tomorrow and his laughter fills my world and where's your smile I will see you in the light of the thousand to this world all alone I will someday die solid stone is just sand and water baby And a million years gone Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. We're going to do one more tune for you. But before we do that, I want to say thank you to Hippie Jack and, and um, that fabulous wife of yours who made the most amazing soup. Oh, yeah. Is there any, what was, what's your wife's name again? Mississippi. What, Mississippi. How could I forget that? <laughs> it was awesome. And, and I want to give a special thanks to Danny and everybody that's put this thing together. You guys are amazing. And I hope I can come back again. My son, Ernest Chabin, on bass and vocals. John Ragusa from New York City on all that other stuff. All right, so we're going to end up with this tune here that I'm proud to say I wrote for Willie Nelson, and it went all the way to number one. I've not even gotten over that yet, and that was back in 1990.
when you were like five. There is no, no more wonderful thing. You were 10, right, okay. It's okay. All I know is there's a picture of you playing golf with Willie. Were you, ten, were you only 10? You were 10 then? Yeah. Now you were short. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault. So get, get ready. Um, Gretchen Peters is one of my favorite writers in this town, and uh, she and Barry are going to just knock your socks off. And I'll be able to just, you know, not have to follow her. This is awesome. <laughs> Perfect night. <laughs> anyway, this is called There's Nothing I Can Do About It Now. I got a long list of real good reasons for all the things I've done. And a picture in the back of my mind of what I've lost and what I've won. I survived every situation, knowing when to freeze and when to run. And regret is just a memory written on my brow. And there's nothing I can do about it now. I got a wild and a restless spirit. I've held my price through every deal. I've seen the fire of a woman's scorn turn her heart of gold to steel. I got the song and the voice inside me set to the rhythm of the wheel. I've been dreaming like a child since the cradle broke the bow, and there's nothing I can do about it now. Running through the changes, going through the stages, coming around the corners in my life. Moving doubt to fate, staying out too late, waiting for a waste of time, dear. And I know just what I'd change if I went back in time somehow. But there's nothing I can do about it now.
Funding for this project is made possible through a grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation to help maintain litter-free events, recycling, and litter prevention education. Together, we can make a difference. Sugarlands Distilling Company is a proud supporter of Jammin' at Hippie Jacks and American Roots Music. The Sugarlands Wilderness is our backyard and the inspiration behind a Smoky Mountain tradition that's been handed down for generations. Sugarlands Distilling Company, we've got a lot to share.